Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hey guys, <clears throat> this is an X reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. And um, if you like this video, please show me that you like the video and give it a thumbs up. Comment, share the video. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I'm looking at these cards that flipped over here. And um, oh, this video is. Um, it can be viewed at any time, but the date on it is for the 22nd of July through the 29th of July. But um, I have the Hierophant here and the Four of Wands that flipped over. You know what the Hierophant means, right? That's all about commitment, all about having something that is um, uh, traditional. And the Four of Wands is a relationship. So I, I get that you guys are definitely on this person's mind, for sure. Taurus energy there. So we're going to see what's currently um, going on with the ex. Okay. What's currently going on with Aries ex. Queen of Swords. They're feeling really kind of emotional, I feel, right now. Um, they have a lot to say and they have a lot that they want to say I feel like right now they're kind of choked up um, because they don't really know how you're going to take them at this point okay now they may feel maybe feeling a little defensive as well that um, you guys may lash out at them or something like that. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. Let's see how your ex is... Okay, something I wanted to flip over there. How your ex perceives you. How does Aries' ex perceive them? How is Aries' ex perceiving them? Six of Swords, that you've moved on. <laughs> that you're no longer thinking about them. See, in this Six of Swords... You see that? There's one person in that boat. Um, leaving the other person behind. Feeling very hurt. You guys have felt very hurt. This person hurt you before. Um, but now they're like... They feel that um, they're dead to you. Or you feel like this person is non-existent anymore. Like you're not phased by them. You could give a shit. Aquarius energy there. What are their feelings about getting back together with Aries? How do they feel about getting back together with Aries? They also want to tell you that they want to talk things out with you. They just don't know if you're open for that, though. Let's see what this is. How do they feel about you? Look at that. <laughs> that you guys are not over. You're not over. This person feels like um, you guys are meant to be. That you can last till the end of days basically with this world energy here they've learned a lot from you that's Taurus Leo Scorpio Aquarius energy um, I feel like this person wants to start over with you because you know the world is the end of the tarot and then we have the fool which is again your card um, so they definitely want to have a happy um, outcome with you guys okay They've learned a lot from you. You've taught this person some shit. But I felt like, you know, they weren't willing to see what you had to offer. Look at this judgment flipping over. Mm-hmm. They have made the decision that they want to be with you. They want to be with you here. Um, I feel like this person, though, when you were with them, they were a know-it-all. And um, you tried so very hard to get them to see things clearly, not your way, but clearly how you felt about them, how you felt about the relationship. And this person, basically, um, they, they, 
spit in your face for lack of a better term um, but now I feel like hindsight is 2020 here what's blocking this person <clears throat> currently what do they need to work on what's blocking them the three of wands what's blocking them is they're just waiting they're waiting for you maybe they're used to you guys like always initiating contact initiating conversation trying to fix things um and they're used to you time and time again reaching out trying to make things better well that's what they're doing right now okay they're waiting on you because they don't feel comfortable being vulnerable to you still um, and you can't really, you know, get anywhere in a relationship if you don't allow yourself to be vulnerable. So they're still like waiting on you to make an approach. They are not actually taking any action currently during this week. Let's see, what is their next move? What is their next move? What is their next move? Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Still holding on to you. Still holding on to you, but not making any movement towards you. Um, holding on to this idea that you guys will come around. It's what they're doing, Capricorn energy there. So, let's see. Let's get more information about this Queen of Swords energy. Please show me more about the Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles. They want to compromise now. Like I said before, um, they really weren't hearing shit you had to say while you guys were together. But now that you're apart, it's like, okay, you know, I see what you were saying. I want to work on this thing now. Okay, I want to move on with you. I see you as the Empress. Every woman, every man, I want to start over. I want to grow with you. Have this new um, fulfilling beginning. Okay, let's wrap this up. Because you know that we belong together. Basically, is what this is. Nine of Swords. You guys have been through some tough shit together, though. You've been through some tough shit. And this person is thinking that... Um, is over between the two of you but they don't want to really allow themselves to think that it's truly over that maybe at some point you guys can't start over maybe at some point you will you know come around to being the old Aries that they they once knew that would reach out and try to make things better smooth things over so they're doing a lot of worrying right now, doubting that um, this will ever happen for them. Okay. Strong Taurus, um, Capricorn, Gemini energy here. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. Mm. Yeah. You know, the Knight of Wands is very inconsistent. You know, they're, they're very kind of, they, they have this flaky energy. Um, one day they're gung-ho about doing something, and the next day uh, they don't feel like it's a good idea. But then two days later they may feel like, you know what, yeah, I'm going to do this. So basically they talk themselves out of coming towards you. Feeling like it's better if they let you come towards them because that way they maintain... Um, the level of control that they so seek okay so I feel like it's all about control they want you to come to them definitely here nine of wands hmm. they're looking for you they feel like if they stay closed off long enough that you will reach out um they're getting tired though. They're getting tired of waiting. This person is getting tired of waiting because you're not moving fast enough for them. Sagittarius energy is present now. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. Um, 
and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now. Wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?